Greetings, Commissar. Oh, Fräulein Grete Hiller. But Commissar Krotov, I am not Fräulein Hiller. Look at this photo. Well, it looks like me, but... That I'm... is Greta Hiller. Surely you don't suspect me of being that woman. No. It is because of your close resemblance to that insidious Nazi spy I have sent for you. Set that camera. We are concerned with the Nazi submarines operating from the occupied France. Until recently, we had agents in Paris who helped us to combat this menace. But today, we have learned they are dead. The Gestapo? Yes. And my orders? Is to replace those agents and continue the flow of vital information. As Greta Hiller? Exactly. So, as Fräulein Greta Hiller, you'll be placed in the position to learn quite a lot about the Nazi officers. I am ready. In this packet, you will find all you need to know about Fräulein Greta Hiller. Her mannerisms, her habits, romantic and personal affairs. Memorize everything, then destroy them. When do I leave for Paris? Immediately. This French, two franc piece, will be your only identification as a Russian agent. Guard it well. Arrangements have been made to let you through the Russian lines. But as far as the German lines, you'll have to use your own ingenuity. I understand, Commissar. Comrade V, I wish you luck. Thank you, Commissar. The officers have been executed as you ordered. Excellent, Stein. Very good. It'll teach these French swine we mean business. And about the children? Oh, send them to a reform school. Preferably in Poland. Yes, sir. Don't you ever knock on closed doors, Captain Richter? Fortunately, Christ, I am not a common policeman. I don't have to knock on doors, nor peek through keyholes. You may go, Stein. Hello. Well, what do you want? Tell me, Kleiss. Was a young Frenchman by the name of uh, Jules Leblanc among the prisoners you had executed this morning? Why do you want to know? Colonel Heinrich demands to know. Oh, Colonel Heinrich demands to know. That boulevard dandy. Tell me, my dear Captain, does he still wear corsets? Does he still use that exquisite perfume? Hand to me, you brass button buffoon! Jules Leblanc? Jules Leblanc. Jou ah, here he is. Jules Leblanc. It is regrettable, I know, but the young man wouldn't talk. So stupid of him. Colonel Heinrich won't be pleased to hear this. No, I suppose not. In which case, my dear Captain, you may report to your Pop and Jay Colonel that the young man's sister in whom he was so interested has been sent to a concentration camp. You're making a bad mistake, Rice. No, it is you swaggering military people who make the mistake of combining romance with total war. Urgent. Police agencies are warned to be on the lookout for a woman. Description unknown, but maybe Russian agent V. 546, known to have been in Poland, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Switzerland, and unoccupied France. Believed en route for Paris. Imperative she be apprehended. Perhaps we should cooperate, eh? War makes strange bedfellows. Captain, Heil Hitler. Ah, Heil Hitler. Everything is ready. Look, I have it all fixed. It will not be bad. Never. Exactly as 
I told you. Do not forget the words. Wine and money. Wine and money. All right. Get inside. Careful, you get. Indeed, that's she. I'm strong. Watch your eyes. How do you do? Hello. How do you do? Are you the artist, Henri de Volier? <laughs> so they call me. And you are? Uh, friends told me to see you while I was here in Paris. May I come in? Uh, why, certainly. Come right in. Uh, I have so few visitors these days. Uh, you, you do not live in, in Paris? No, I'm just coming back from a long journey. And uh, I heard of your work. Oh, then perhaps you're interested in a portrait? Possibly. Uh, will you sit down? Thank you. Uh, I am very sorry, but I have no wine to offer you. I am without money. Oh. Will you permit me? Ah, a two franc piece. We do not see many of these since the occupation. That is true. Uh, you had difficulty getting here, uh, Comrade V. Indeed, much. All oh, these Nazi swine. You no doubt will be contacted by a certain Monsieur Collet. He is one of us? No, 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 he's the one. But Fräulein Greta Hiller received her remittance to him. I see. And about Fräulein Hiller? 
You have nothing to fear from her. I happen to know that she met with a terrible accident. An accident? Well, I've studied the information till I feel I'm actually the woman herself. Then there should be no flaw in the plan. Let us hope. What is it? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Do, do not be alarmed. Well, I thought possibly that it might be... Oh, oh come, 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 come. Hey, you are too much on the key beam. Perhaps a cigarette will quiet your nerves, mademoiselle. Well, thank you. My, what a lovely case. Oh, will you accept it as a gift? Oh, no, I couldn't think of that. Oh, rubbish. What would an old man want with such a pretty papa? Please take it. You make me very happy. There you are. It is all settled. And now, I shall fetch you some wine. Well, have you any money? Oh, I have many ways of earning money. I would never doubt that. Be comfortable. You are safe here. I return presently. Monsieur le Capitaine, uh, gentlemen, uh, you are looking for somebody, perhaps. How do you know? Oh, I'm very sorry, but I thought you might give me a few extra marks if I... If what? If I told you of a suspicious woman I have seen. We'll see what your information is worth. Where is she? Uh, right at my studio. She told me a far-fetched story about a portrait. Uh, right this way, right this way. Right this way, gentlemen. There she is. Ah, oh, Fräulein. It will indeed be a great pleasure for me to question you. Where is your identification card? Judas. Who are you? I have nothing to say. Don't trifle with me. I said, who are you? I have nothing to say. If you would confide in me, I could make things so very nice for you. Swine. Oh! We waste time. There are ways to make her talk. Yes, and very pretty ones. Take her out. And my reward? I will see that you get your 12 silver marks. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Your pardon, Colonel Heinrich. Captain Richter and Fritz Kleiss of the Gestapo are here. What do they want? They've brought an important prisoner, a woman. Oh. Maybe the Russian woman, eh? Show them in. Yes, sir. Colonel Heinrich will see you now. Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. Oh, instead of a Russian bear in our trap, we have a very beautiful woman. Yeah, Herr Colonel, very beautiful, but very stubborn. You do not know the fine technique, I'm afraid, Clyde. You and Kleiss leave the room. But, uh, Colonel, the prisoner. I will handle this matter myself, personally. Understand? As you wish, uh, Colonel. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler.
May I have one of your cigarettes, Paula? Certainly. It is a very beautiful thing. Where did you get it? I was right. You are Fräulein Greta Hiller. This identification is indisputable. Are you sure I'm Greta Hiller, Herr Colonel? Quite. Perhaps you'd better have my fingerprints taken. Please, do not chide me, Fräulein. And my deepest apologies for those officers. Oh, it wasn't their fault, merely the caution of war. I couldn't reveal myself to them. I understand. But the inconvenience, my dear Fräulein... It's forgotten. Please, be comfortable, Father. Thank you. We both wear the Iron Cross first class. Two of the very few ever issued on the personal citation of the Fjord. That is indeed a pleasant coincidence. And the cigarette case. Ah, that is a rare distinction. A gift from him for your very fine work during our victorious protection of France. You see, I know all about you. And this, we shall always honor. I realize now how you came through our lines. No stupid Russian could have managed that. I agree with you, in spite of your obvious flattery. I hope you are to remain in Paris for a time. Yes, until further orders. Good. Then it will be my pleasure to assist you in finding suitable quarters. My official car will be at your disposal, and... Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. I have a very important communication from headquarters, sir. Well, what is it? Go ahead, Lieutenant. You may speak freely. Thank you, Herr Colonel. Word has just been received that St. Nazaire was raided again last night. The result? Our coastal defenses successfully drove them off. But it's believed that a few of them are unable to get back to the boats that escaped inland. Have patrols search the entire coastal area. When they are found, have them shot. And shoot any Frenchman who gives them shot. Yes, sir. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Lieutenant Pierre, not even a smell of it. Frankly, Steve, I've got the wind up. Ah, take it easy, Jerry. If he doesn't show up by midnight, we're on our own. Do you think we can trust the fellow? You never can tell. Still, he did seem mighty reluctant about hiding us. Probably worth his head, and I don't blame him. Say, by the way, do you know anyone in Paris? Not a coke and coke. Meaning, not a soul, I suppose. Right up. <laughs> you know, you'd be a nice guy if you could speak English. Possibly it'd be a good idea if I lived in your Bowery for a bit, eh? Not bad. And you might add a dash of Brooklynese while you're at it. Heaven forbid, I'd be walking Tower of Babel. Well, it was quite a bit of fun while it lasted. You know, Jerry, these night operations are raising Cain with my beauty sleep. Oh, I need a little relaxation. Will the whispers back, thank goodness. Merci, monsieur. Any news in the village, monsieur? Uh, yeah, I, I have enough. <laughs> Those pigs are liable to shoot me and my family. And they know some of us got away. Oh, la la. You should know how many patrols are looking for you right now. <laughs> now, that is something. Mm. Hey, maybe we could both get into this and save the other for a spare. <laughs> Look at these trousers, will you? 
Ah, uh, my young ones, did you're lucky I could find those things. Since the occupation, everything is so scarce. Oh, believe me, we're grateful for all your trouble. We certainly are. Ah, it is no trouble, my friends. Ah, uh, there's a little we can do since we no longer have arms. We are helpless. But there are many of us. And we wait with restless confidence for the day when we will again unfurl the tricolo of our beloved country. La belle France! But now my children put on these things and give me your uniforms. In maybe a week, you go to see a friend of mine in Paris. I don't know, maybe she's dead now. But if she's still alive, you will find her in Rue de la Laboratoire, 87. What's your friend's name? Madame Vincent. Uh, she has a little café. Le petit papillon. Uh, I do not know. Maybe the Nazis have changed that too. <laughs> the cutest thing about so high and so, it's so wide. A rather confining place to eat at, sir. Ah, mais voyons, monsieur, not the café. I mean, Madame Fanchon. <laughs> and do not forget, tell her, you are little pigeons. Little pigeons. Then she will know. Well, I've been called a lot of things, but never a little pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> This way, and take these things and get rid of them. Okay. It is true that you are hiding enemies here, yes? Enemies of whom? Of the German right? Ah, oh, Franz, where are they? Monsieur, I know nothing of any enemies at home. Oh. Search the place. Most amusing. If I am lighthearted, Fraulein. 
It is because your charming personality blinds me for the moment to the uh, grim reality of war. You should have been a diplomat instead of a soldier. Maybe so. But today I was a very proud soldier in having you at my side during the commissioning ceremony. Yes, I was very glad to be there. It was most inspiring. Ah, if our enemies only knew what was in store for them. Do you mind if we go now? Not at all. It's been a long day. I'm so sorry. I know you must be tired. Thank you. What goes on with you? It's at the curfew for civilians. Show me your identification. Come on, let's get out of here. Get on, Steve. Right now, I'm getting ready to the crowd. Maybe you're right, Jerry. We ought to split up. Suppose we meet at uh, Madame Fichon's. That's the place old Pierre talked about. Yeah, on the, uh, what's the name of The Rue de la Betoise, 87. It, uh, now look here, let's, let's meet at 10 o'clock. Right. If not tomorrow night, the next night, and so on. Right, oh, I've got it. Well, old boy, good luck. You're a regular guy. <laughs> Same to you, old Bean. Cheerio. The iron hot. The iron is always hot. Then you've that got is, something? That is good. I think so. See? Fourteen U-boats secretly commissioned today at Saint-Nazaire, putting to sea immediately, V. I had a glorious evening here, Colonel. I had hoped that tonight you might invite me in for a liqueur. Why, by all means, please do come in. Thank you, Greta. I hope you do not mind me calling you Greta. No, not at all. Please, call me Wolfgang. Don't you think Wolf is a little more to the point? <laughs> Never mind your key, Greta. Welcome home, Fräulein Hiller. Well, thank you. I arranged to have your old housekeeper, Minna, come back to look after you. Oh, why, yes. I, I'm delighted. <laughs> I hardly know what to say. May I? Oh, yes, uh, thank you. I'll take it. Oh, Minna. Minna, fix the Colonel a cocktail. Uh, make yourself comfortable. Have a cigarette. Will you excuse me, I'll be right back.
Oh, Colonel. It is strange, but the Fräulein Hiller always insisted on fixing her own cocktails. And she never called me Mina. She is a woman of many personalities. It is part of her job. Maybe so. escape from the gendarme. You're lying. Please, please, not so loud. If you don't believe me, take a look out there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Get over there. You French still haven't learned your lesson. The occupation laws were made for you to obey. You mean you're a German? What do you think I am? You realize I'd be shot if they found you here? Well, I'll leave right now. Not that way. One of the most important German officers in all France is in there. And I almost walked right into him. Get into that closet and wait until I tell you to come out. Is this a trick? No, I assure you. <sighs> you're an angel, Mademoiselle. Fräulein, please. Whatever you are. You're just as sweet as you are lovely. Stop that nonsense and do as I say. Oui, oui. I've got to get in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm awfully sorry to have kept you waiting, but I look such a fright. You always look beautiful to me. Why, thank you, Wolfgang. You ought to wear decorations for flattery as well as gallantry. Uh, no, thank you. I don't think I care for one. But, Fräulein, no nightcap. You always... Oh, a little later, perhaps. Shall we sit down? Please. To our mutual understanding, may it develop into a warm friendship. I'm afraid our friendship will be rather fleeting. Why do you say that, Greta? Well, I never know when I'll get my orders, and your duties take up so much of your time. These are busy times. Big things are in the making, yes, indeed. Whatever it is, I hope our enemy may soon be destroyed. We are making every preparation for that right now. Our submarines will presently shut off all American supplies to Russia. And this, time to coincide with our grand offensive on the east to join our yellow Aryan brothers. Supplies have been flowing too smoothly, I suppose. Yes, but when the blow falls, it will crush the Allies forever. Suppose we forget the problems of war for a little while. I bore you? No, no, not at all, Wolfgang. But there seems to be so little time for other matters. For romance, maybe? Well, who knows what the future may hold. The longer we talk, the more I regret our not meeting sooner. To the most beautiful in all the occupied countries. Including Russia? Bah! Russian women are like cattle. I have never seen one worth a second look. And then? Well, 
Her every action seems different since her return to Paris. You had better be very sure when you accuse Fräulein Hiller. I have been with our department too long to report foolishness. I too have been suspicious of her ever since we arrested her at the artist's place. In spite of Colonel Heinrich Stern, so have I. We'll go to the Fräulein's apartment now. Oh, thank you, Herr Captain. I will go too. No, it won't be necessary. Come. It has been a very lovely evening. Good night, Wolfgang. Until tomorrow, then. We will start early to avoid the crowd. Tens of thousands will be on hand to hear him speak. Especially the grateful French. Of course. Everyone is interested in what our Fjord promises for the future. I'm sure that will be something to hear. Auf Wiedersehen. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Minna. Minna. I thought you'd never get rid of him. I told you to stay in that closet, didn't I? Well, what good are a lot of dresses without a woman in them? Besides, I wanted to hear what your friend Wolfgang, or Wolfpack, whatever his name is, had to say to you. That was Colonel Heinrich. If he thought for one moment that you were here... I know. It could be very embarrassing for all of us. What do you mean? I could be jealous, too. You're not a Frenchman? No. The French are at least subtle. The fact that I'm a German doesn't seem to worry you, does it? No, it doesn't. It's because I can see, in spite of our being enemies, that you're going to help me. On the contrary, I'm going to turn you over to the police as a bread ration violator. I think that would be rather difficult. Give me that. Fräulein Hiller. Fräulein. Fräulein. Answer her. What is it, Minna? Captain Richter is here. He's at the secret police. You sent her after him. No, no, I didn't. Get in there, I'll get rid of him. By what right are you forcing your way in here, Captain? My authority permits me to go anywhere. Even into your bedroom, my dear. You may go, Minna. Did you hear me? You realize, of course, that I've been following you ever since you so cleverly slipped through our lines into the Reich. Is it my fault you've been wasting your time and your rather questionable talents? My talents may be questionable to our enemies. They are, however, of great value to the fatherland. Fräulein, I have reason to feel that in spite of your credentials, you are not the person you claim to be. You are a fool. I warn you, when Colonel Heinrich hears By about it... By that time, it may be too late. Is that a threat, Captain? I'm going to find out who you really are. I want the truth. Take your dirty hands off of me. You'll lose your head for this. Not my head, Fräulein, but yours. I want the truth. You heard what I said. Speak! You crazy fool! But I... Minna! 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 An assassin has attacked Captain Richter. Get help, quick! Oh, Captain Richter! Oh! Police! Oh, police! Help! Help! Oh, Herr Kleist! Herr Kleist! Come quickly! There's terrible trouble! What's wrong? Oh, come! Come quickly! Oh! Fräulein! You take care of her. Where's he? In there! Oh, Fräulein! Are you all right? Come out or I'll shoot! I said, come out or I'll shoot! <laughs> Captain Richter!
Listen how the French cheer him. Yes, how they cheer him. What a magnificent day for the French. Yes, what a day for the French. Meine lieben französischen Vätern. He loves the French people, yes? Oh, yes. He also loves the Czechs. Ich stehe vor euch nicht als Eroberer, sondern als euer Befreier. Ich bin entschlossen, eure Heimat von den Kapitalisten, die euch ausnützen, zu beschützen und der Geichen von den englischen Kriegshetzern, von den geldgierigen Amerikanern und dem bolschewistischen Russland. It is true. He has saved France from the British, the Americans and the unspeakable Russian vermin. You are right here, Colonel. In Wirklichkeit bin ich ein Menschenfreund. A humanitarian indeed. He says so himself. Endgültigen Sieg, den ich euch verspreche. Das ist alles, was ich euch im Moment sagen kann. You see how clever he is? He will not tell everything. You know what he means, don't you, Wolfgang? Verlasst euch auf mich und ihr werdet Freude haben an dem Frieden, den ich unseren besiegten Feinden diktieren werde. How oh, wonderful. He has the whole world to believe in him, to trust him and to have faith. Ach, what a leader. Yes, he promises to make a glorious peace for our enemies on their bended knees. Exactly, my dear Frederick. And he will not fail. I hope you are right, Wolfgang. Wonderful man is our Fjord. Wonderful is hardly the word here, Colonel. Will you have more wine? No, thanks. You have seemed abstracted all evening. It is not like you. I was wondering what will happen to Herr Kleis for killing Captain Richter. Nothing. Richter got what he deserved for acting as he did toward you. I have also issued orders to have that Frenchman picked up and brought to me. These cattle will have to learn they cannot interfere with their masters. You know, you've been very helpful, Wolfgang. I'll always remember it. But you are not leaving. Well, I'm always prepared to leave. Mm. That is war, I suppose. Yes, and the price I pay for being Greta Hiller. More wine, perhaps? It costs Monsieur Colonel much money. Oh, yes, since you're here, I would like a package of cigarettes. <laughs> With pleasure, Fraulein. Uh, since when do you pay? Put it on the bill. Oh, please, just this once. Very well. <laughs> Have your little whim. Thank you, Monsieur Colonel. <laughs> you are like a little child. <laughs> Is there any good news from the front? Ah, oh, but yes. The Russian army is annihilated. What again? I wonder what happened to that waiter. Oh, I'm so sorry. Waiter! Waiter! No cigarettes, hurry! No cigarettes. Pardon the delay. I became interested in the chess game out there. No, it's quite all right. Uh, for a line, thank you. But I opened them for you. Oh, thank you. What time is it? Mm, it is late. I have had enough of this place for one night anyhow.
Do you play chess? Yeah. It is a game for old men. This rook to the queen's black ten and he's checkmated. No, no. The rook moves to the king's white three. He's a rank amateur. Come along. A splendid move. The rook she placed on the queen's black ten, and she said he's checkmated. The queen is Madame Finchon. Black ten means that she will be here in a little while now. Her remark, he's checkmated, uh, worries me. <laughs> me too. It means that the Germans are in possession of some dangerous information. Now, uh, what was your reply, Henri? I moved the rook back two spaces, and I said, the rook goes to the king's right three. So comrade V knows that we are ready and the way is clear to transmit a message. How do you do? How do you do? I'm expecting a friend. But certainly, mademoiselle. And perhaps while you're waiting, you'd like to drink a small bottle of wine. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Sit down. Thank you. I'll take to madame, Jean. The white wine, mademoiselle, is excellent, but the red wine is superb and for less money. The red, please. Oh, wait. Just a minute. Here's the money for the wine. Thank you, mademoiselle. Go get the wine. All right, John. I'll take it. I'd like to serve with the lady myself. Mademoiselle? The best. You see? The coin came back. Maybe you'd like to come with me. Go in there. Order something to drink. Watch her every move. Report anything suspicious to me. You are not going in? No, she knows me. Besides, I have something very important to attend to. And this is the greatest convoy yet to be sent from the United States to Russia. Ah, that is good news for us. It would be. But the Nazis know about it and plan to intercept it. No. Oh, that is bad. Yes. The sailing date, the number of ships, the detail of the cargo, the strength of the naval escort, and even the secretly charted course is known to Berlin, thanks to the German buns in America. Oh, the dirty swine. Moscow must be notified. At once. Did you learn anything of their plan of attack? No. Except the Nazis are confident that not a ship will get through. It would give me pleasure to strangle the information out of Heinrich myself. I'll take care of Colonel Heinrich. I'll get the information or... Or what, Comrade V? Nothing. At least we have a warning to transmit. Hurry, Doc. A report from Comrade V. Paris.
say, it's a German soldier out there, a stranger. But still he speaks of Peter and the little pigeons. How's that? Well, I'll go see. Please. He shouldn't have come here. Who is he? He's all right. He's that American. You know, the one that I helped escape from my apartment. What is he doing here? I don't know. But I'll find out. Good evening here, Captain. Ah, the Fraulein. So you got here at last. Why didn't you take that uniform off like I told you to? Comes in very handy. Yes, for every secret agent in Paris to trace you by. Why'd you come here? To let you know you were followed. Are you sure? Yes. You see, the uniform works both ways. I followed the Gestapo. Oh. That's one of them over there now. What may be nothing. These Gestapo bloodhounds are suspicious of their own mothers. An old Nazi custom. He'd probably stick to you like a leech. Maybe it'd be best if he didn't go home. We could lose him. But I must go home. Why? Colonel Heinrich is calling for me tomorrow night to take me to dinner to the Café Alamont Francaise. You know how important that is. I understand. Come on, I'll take you home. Now listen to me closely, Mina. I want that particular two-franc piece she has in her purse. But she may have more than one. So here are enough to make the proper substitution. I understand. She sleeps very well at night. Mm. Well, get a good night's sleep. Why, how careless of me. I forgot my key. Oh. <laughs> you can go by the back way. I will send the coin to you. Good. So, watch out tomorrow. All right, thank you. Good night. Good night. Haben Sie einen Streichholz, bitte, Herr Rittmeister? Ah, ja. Good night's work, Stein. The man that took her home was an infernal spy. From one word, I knew he was not a German officer. I am more convinced than ever that that woman is not Greta Heller. Stein, do you remember where we first found that confounded woman? The artist Duvalier's place. I want it searched thoroughly. Tear it apart, stone by stone. It shall be done at once, sir. Uh, Enter! Get down with your job, Stein. Herr Kleist, I have the two franc piece. Champagne, dear Greta. A toast to a great sea victory. What's happened? What victory? Oh, it hasn't happened yet, but it will, and soon. It will amaze you. Well, what is it, Marshnell? I've got it.
Now I will show that Colonel Heinrich that we are not stupid fools. to arrange it. But hurry. She's in great danger. All right. What you tell me is astounding here, Colonel. But are you sure it's the truth? An official fact. And do you know why I told you, dear Greta? Because you wanted to relieve my mind. You are a very clever woman. Just a woman. Uh, Monsieur Colonel, the telephone, please. Donna Feta. Why was telephoning ever invented? Uh, the party is very insistent. The telephone is just inside the door. Excuse me, please, Griffin. I will be right back. Certainly. But I do not know any Fritz White. No Schweitzer I know all right, but no Fritz. You've got to get out of here. But Colonel Heinrich's here. The devil with him. Kleist knows who you are. What? They found the real Greta Hiller buried behind that artist's fireplace. How do you know that? Never mind that now. In five minutes, every murdering Gestapo in Paris will be looking for you. But I can't get caught yet. I have some vital information that must get to Moscow. An American convoy's got to be saved. All right, then. Come on. Don't mention it. It was all a mistake. Goodbye. Where is the young lady? Uh, I presume uh, uh, she has uh, just stepped out for a moment. Oh. Quite a little pigeon yourself. Yes, once I was a little dog. <laughs> Roy! You are under arrest, and you too. Leave here at once. Listen to me. Kong, we'll waste a good time. The Nazis have found out the convoy has changed its course. The German fleet sailed from Trondheim to destroy it. Impossible. Are you sure? Positive. It came from Colonel Heinrich. When? How large a force? At dawn, the submarines, cruisers, destroyers, and a whole air force. Go on, send the message. Coming in now. It may be too late. No, we have a few seconds. That message must get through to Moscow. Thanks, Jerry. I thought they had me pegged until I saw you and the girl. The Gestapo. Come with me. Message get through? He's sending it now. There's more of the Gestapo out there now. That's Now that tank come in! Open that door! Open that door! Quick! Out to the underground passage! The ladder depends on quick! Break it in! Get out! I'm staying!
reception is complete. I will relay it to naval intelligence. news about the convoy, comrade? It is good news, Commissar. Russian submarines successfully engaged enemy. Pocket battleships torpedoed. Numerous enemy vessels sunk. German fleet turned back to Dranheim. In disastrous defeat, convoy from America safe. I'm very proud, Ivan. This achievement is symbolic of the cooperation and unity between our great nations. Wherever Comrade V and our friends are, they cover themselves with glory that will never die. And also because you have revealed military information to enemies of the Reich, the sentence of death has now passed upon you. Ready? Aim! <laughs> <laughs> 